For different processes in the SAP system, it's important to control the status of a field. And of course, we're referring to um, what we call the field status, which is uh, to set up a field if, if the field is going to be mandatory, if it's going to be an optional entry for the field, or uh, maybe we just even want to hide the field because we have so many, uh, let's imagine, just so many fields in the master record of a given object that we uh, just want to hide some of them because they are not relevant for uh, maybe our our industry. So well, uh, if you again, if you have some experience in previous releases, you know we have a way to to accomplish this, which is actually using the account groups. But now uh, an extra layer is uh, or has been added uh, with the business. Uh, partner concept because uh, we have what we call the business partner roles and using the customizing we could uh, just specify the field status for each field using each one of these business partner roles so well uh, um, let's let's start this uh, lesson with showing you um, the settings for field status that we have um, linked to the uh, business partner so uh, we have just open cross application components here again we go back to SAP uh, business partner then we have a um, business partner of course and basic settings because now we need to uh, open the path for field groupings as you can see we have uh, different ways to control actually uh, to control the, the, the field status we, we uh, can control this at client level or mean with activity but uh, right now we want you to focus on the uh, BP role so configure field attributes per BP role so uh, well, let's have a look at uh, inside what we have inside here for the customizing and well as you can see um, uh, we have just like two sub steps but let's go with the first one And now, uh, well, we have a, um, a list of multiple BB roles that we have. And again, we have so many. Remember that hey, the business partner is not only used for customer and vendors. We have actually something very clear here for a uh, commission clerks or a treasury, the treasury role or the bank depository role, for example. We have so many. But right now, we want to focus in the standard one, which, as you can see here, it's the business partner uh, uh, for the FI section of fields. So the ID is FLCU00. Let's just uh, have a look at the detail uh, that we have inside this. So um, let's just double click. And we have all these uh, groups of fields. But right now, um, let's focus on the customer general data uh, that uh, belongs to company code. So let's double click on this one. And as you can see, well, let's just analyze a bit. We have a, I'm trying just to, to have both of the required entries in the in the same. Yes, here here they are. Uh, because we have each each line is a field, just an individual field, of course. And we have these columns, the hide, the required, the optional, the display, and but the not specified, just like the initial status. And depending, uh, I mean, for each line, we could select one of these values. As you can see, most of them have just the not specified, so that just means it's pretty much the same as optional, but it just means that we haven't even modified uh, uh, the value that we want for that uh, particular field. Uh, they are just in the initial value. But we have two different, which is the payment condition and the reconciliation account. So yes, as you can see, for both of them, we have them um, as a required entry. So that just means that uh, uh, it's mandatory for a user to uh, enter a value for those fields when the, the, the particular employee is creating a master record of a customer. So yes, we have required entry for the payment terms, pay payment conditions, and the reconciliation account. So well, um, later we will see other ways in which we can uh, also control the field status. As you know, we have sometimes uh, mod uh, different alternatives. But right now, we just wanted uh, for you to, to realize that we have both of them set up like this so well let's just uh, go back and uh, we this we finish the transaction and of course we also finish the lesson for the time being but to really see the effect uh, of this we have to continue with uh, learning with the next one so uh, thank you so much and we'll see you in the next lesson